All thanks and praises due to the Basis Foundation. God is most great, and none has the right to worship you. Hello, everyone. It's Stepdog the Hip Hop Prophet, and I'm here with the next video in the YouTube series. And the name of this video is The Book of Revelation Revealed, Part 39, Warning to Escape Babylon's Judgment. And I'm going to receive, I mean, I'm going to read that section right now. Then I heard another voice from heaven say, Come out of her, my people so that you will not share in her sins, so that you will not receive any of her plagues, for her sins are piled up to heaven, and God has remembered her crimes. Give back to her as she has given. Pay her back double for what she has done. Pour her a double portion from her own cup. Give her as much torment and grief as the glory and luxury she gave herself. In her heart, she boasts, I sit at the throne as queen. I am not a widow. I will never mourn. Therefore, in one day, her plagues will overtake her. Death, mourning, and famine. She will be consumed by fire, for mighty is the Lord God who judges her. Okay, well, basically, this whole section... It, it, it symbolizes two things, and I'm not even going to go into each. Um, um, well, I guess I can. Okay. Come out of her, my people. Well, basically, that's the voice of God. And what God is saying to all the people who wish to submit to the will of God and follow the golden rule and uh, go to heaven when they die, well, basically, what God is saying is... Come out of the devil's kingdom now. You know what I mean? No matter where you live. But it's, it has a twofold meaning. Because it also means to the people who live in New York, like on Long Island and New York City, get out of there. Because God's going to destroy it. So, in a way, it means, you know, if you live in New York City or on Long Island, you better get out of there because God's going to destroy it. I would say most likely during the time of the mother of all earthquakes. So people are going to have, you know, years to get out of there. But it also means, you know, get out of this Illuminati system as quick as you can. Once you know how, once, like I'm going to be receiving instructions from God through the rod because the rod is magical. For instance, an iPhone has Siri on it. If I want to ask God a question... God will answer it. All I have to do is tap on my iPhone three times and Siri will activate and God will tell me what the answer is. So that's what I mean. I'm going to get the solutions and the directions for a lot of things through the rod. I'm also going to be killing people with the rod. People with marks. Only people with marks. You know, if you don't have a mark and you're following the golden rule, I'm not doing that to you. But basically, there's two meanings here. You know, for people all over the world, Remove yourself from the Illuminati system now. You know what I mean? Embrace this and adhere to these rules because the Illuminati system is being destroyed. But it's also a message to the people in New York City and Long Island. You better get out of there because God's destroying that place. New York City was the center of all this nonsense. God's destroying it. So get out of there, please. So that's a warning in that way. And then, yeah, so that you will not share in her sins, so that you will not receive any of her plagues. Okay, well, that applies to New York City, but that also applies, you know, to, to rejecting the Illuminati and embracing the golden rule. Because if you embrace the golden rule, you do not receive a mark. And if you receive a mark, like, you know, the Illuminati is going to, and anybody else who de decides that they don't want to accept the golden rule, you know, I already explained the plagues that are coming. So you're going to share in them plagues. And, you know, you're going to share in the destruction of the kingdom as well. And basically, this is a warning, you know, that basically, you know, if you don't come out and submit to the golden rule and embrace the golden rule, that's what's going to happen to you. For her sins are piled up to heaven, and God has remembered her crimes. Give back to her what she has given. Pay her back double for what she has done. Well, basically, it's like, 
their system has been sucking you dry. So now that their system is no, no longer in control, suck them dry. Leave them with nothing. That's basically what God's saying. You know what I mean? Return the favor back to them for what they've been doing for all these years. Because basically, they've been sucking people of all their money and their spirituality. They've been pushing all this, believe in whatever you want on people. You know what I mean? People might say that's one of the founding principles of this nation. Well, that's going bye-bye. Freedom of religion is gone because there's not going to be any religions anymore. You know, it's either, you know, basically the ruler of the nations is going to be God and that's it. There is nothing to believe in. Now you know that God is real. Religions are gone. So they've been sucking everybody of their money, of their spirituality, of their livelihoods, everything. And now God wants us to return the favor onto them, and that is exactly what's going to happen. You know what I mean? Basically, God is going to have me and go to each of the ten heads of the Illuminati and take all their assets away from them and kill them. And um, basically, you know, if you don't decide to follow the golden rule, well, when they get sucked dry, everybody loyal to them is going to be sucked dry. So if you want to stay loyal to them, yeah, you're going to deal with the same consequences they do. Okay. Pour her a double portion from her own cup. Well, basically, God is saying give her twice as much as, you know, she was giving you. Give her as much torment and grief as the glory and luxury she gave herself. Well, you know, um, obviously the Illuminati has basically elevated themselves to the level of God. And that's what God means. You know, their sins were piled up to heaven. Like basically they became so, so drunk with their own power, they considered themselves God. You know, they considered the Illuminati and the devil God. So, you know, I mean... Basically, this is just a warning, you know, you need to realize that that all of this stuff is ending now. And if you don't submit to the golden rule, you're going down with it. Okay, so let's continue. In her heart, she boasts, I sit a throne as a queen. I am not a widow. I will never mourn. That's basically saying to those, you know, to the people who are going to be willing to reject the golden rule. You know, they're going to have that attitude. You know, I'm not submitting to this. You know what I mean? This has happened time and time again. You know, I'm not buying into this. You know, they're going to have that arrogant attitude. You know what I mean? But not only that, that's also a message to the people living in New York, New York City and on Long Island. They're going to be like, well, the hour of judgment came and this and that happened and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I'm not moving, you know, I've lived here my whole life, blah, blah, blah. You know, so I mean, it's that attitude that's still going to persist after the hour of judgment. And this is a warning to all them people. If you don't get out of there, you're done. God's destroying that place. And therefore, in one day, her plagues will overtake her. Death, mourning, and famine. She will become consumed by fire, for mighty is the Lord God who judges her. The one day in which she is destroyed, well, I mean, I don't think it's going to be the hour of judgment. That You know, that's not when New York City is going to be destroyed. Um, see, that's what I mean. There's multiple meanings here, like being consumed by the fire, she will be consumed by the fire. That's talking about the stock market and what um, the Illuminati is going to do. They're going to, like I said, they're going to try to take, during the hour of judgment, they're going to try to take everything out of the stock market and it's going to crash. And that's her being consumed by the fire. The Illuminati is the fire. I mean, they're the hellfire. They're the devil. They're going to try to consume everything that's in the stock market and take it for themselves and, you know, leave... Um, leave the stock market basically destroyed. And it, okay, let me see. Death, mourning, and famine. She will be consumed by the fire for the, okay. But it also has the second meaning, like I said, with um, the destruction of New York City. It's all gonna, you know, I believe the destruction of New York City will take place with the mother of all earthquakes. It's gonna be completely destroyed. 
That's why in the Planet of the Apes, at the end, I mean the original Planet of the Apes with Charlton Heston, they show at the end of the movie the Statue of Liberty, only the Statue of Liberty's head and the torch hold held up. Because basically, that's the Jews' way of letting everybody know that God is destroying New York City. And we know it, but we're scumbags, and we're lying to you all. And we're going to show you it in the movies, and then we're going to uh, call uh, God's followers monkeys or apes. You know what I mean? Muslims of the Golden Rule are apes to the Jews and to the Illuminati, the Je Jesuits. And... The main, another reason why they uh, make the, uh, the um, Planet of the Apes, they make apes the rulers, is because, you know, the majority of Muslims are black or, you know, dark-skinned. There's not a lot of white Muslims. But after the Hour of Judgment, I mean, Muslims of the Golden Rule are different. It's not going to be Islam of the Quran. Muhammad made too much mistakes and his people are not following the golden rule. And he was told what the golden rule. And at first he accepted it. And then he asked God to make the praying less. That's why they only pray five times a day. Because Moses told him to ask God to make it less. But it's not going to be Islam of the Quran. That's going bye-bye too. Like I said, all religions are going bye-bye. The golden rule is a rule. It's not a religion. It's a rule. And once you know God is real, you need to follow that rule. It's not a religion. It's either you follow that rule or you die. Um, but, you know, I mean, that's just it. The Jews know this is going to happen. And the the Jesuits, you know, the heads of the uh, of Christianity, I mean, they know it's going to happen. That's why they make these movies. That's where they get the ideas for these movies. That's why they put it in the movies. Same thing with The Walking Dead. They do the same thing with that. Because the Jews know this is going to happen. Because they know what kind of plagues God inflicted on the Egyptians for them. So they know it's coming to them. But they've been lying and deceiving everybody to convince everybody, oh, this ain't happening. So then when it happens, you're screwed and you're going to hell. And when you see me with the rod and if you have a mark, you're dead. I'll kill you immediately. You need to know that. But anyway, um... That's the point of this. This is a warning to all the people who have embraced the Illuminati and to the residents of New York City and Long Island. So that is warning to escape Babylon's judgment. All thanks and praises due to the Basis Foundation. God is most great. None has the right to be worshipped by you.